Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at DxO's Pure Raw version 2. And this is a raw processing software to help you get the best image quality possible out of your raw images before you actually start editing them. So sometimes it's called a raw preprocessor. Now Pure Raw uses basically two technologies to improve the quality of your raw images. The first one is the DxO Optics module. And what it does is basically correct for vignetting, distortion, chromatic aberrations, and also increases the lens sharpness. The second technology comes in the form of denoising, and it comes in three varieties, HQ or high quality, prime, and deep prime. And deep prime is really the one you want to use because that also includes analysis via artificial intelligence and deep learning to further denoise your images. And it really gives you amazing results. So first, let's take a look at the DxO Optics module, which is basically a database of over 70,000 cameras and lenses. And that list is continually growing. Basically, what it's doing is it's taking your combination of camera and lens and then optimizing the optical quality that you can get from that lens to your camera sensor. Now, this is not too different than what's already going on in your camera and lens, where modern lenses provide the camera data to let it know what kind of corrections it needs to do to get the best image quality. You know, vignetting, chromatic aberration, sharpness, and distortion. However, I believe the DxO Optics module is doing an even better job than manufacturers themselves. Now, let's look at some examples of the DxO Optics module in action. This is the exported straight out of camera raw image. So as you can see, if you look over here on the left side, you can easily see the barrel distortion here on the framing around the door. And there's also some barrel distortion going on here along all these straight lines. And if we apply the DxO Optics module, you can see that it easily corrected all of that. Now going back and forth, you also notice in addition to the barrel distortion that the vignetting has also been corrected. So if you look at the corners of this image, you can see how they get a little bit brighter. Now let's compare the DxO Optics module versus the profile corrections built into the lens. This is the profile corrections built into the lens. And as you can see that it did a slight crop onto the image uh, to correct the barrel distortion. If we go back, this is the DxO. And this is the profile corrections built into the lens. There's also chromatic aberration corrections, which are a little bit hard to show with the images I selected. But uh, from my experience, it's been about the same, whether I chose the lens profile or if I chose the DxO Optics module. Now, one other thing that DxO Optics module does is optimize the sharpness of the image based on the lens and camera combination. So let's look at another image and you'll see the difference. Now let's compare the DxO Optics module versus the lens profile data on the right. And if we punch in 100%, again, you should be able to see a big difference in the sharpness uh, between the two images. And I'll punch in the 200% here. And just as a reminder on how the lens data crops in the correct for barrel distortion, if we compare the edge here of the DxO Optics module versus the lens data, you can see that we can see the entire word here for grocery in addition to the uh, beam here on the bridge, whereas we're cut off all the way to the letter O over here. So as you can see, I think the DxO Optics module is already doing a better job than the manufacturer's own profile corrections built into the lens. But Pura also comes with denoising technology that I have found outperforms everything else on the market right now by far. And uh, it's called Deep Prime. So let's take a look at the denoising technology in its three flavors, in particular, HQ, Prime, and Deep Prime. I'm going to use the DxO Pure Raw in standalone mode where I can just add raw images to be processed directly. So if I click on the Add Raw Files, I can navigate to a folder as I have here already and select one or all images and do Add Photos. Now, if this is the first time you've used this particular camera and lens combination, Pure Raw is going to prompt you to download the DxO Optics module. Now, if you've downloaded this Optics module before, it's not going to prompt you and you can start processing right away. But let's go ahead and save this Optics module into the database. 
Now at this point, I can just process all three photos by clicking this button here, process photos, or I can unselect ones I don't want to process and process just this one. However, let's go ahead and process all three. Now, before you start processing, you're prompted with these options here. What method of denoising do you want to use? HQ, prime, or deep prime? We'll just start with HQ. And then, of course, we're going to check this box for optical corrections, but we could turn that on or off. And then the output format, we have two uh, options here, JPEG and DNG. And I'm going to select DNG because, remember, Pure Raw is really a pre-processing software for your raw images. You're going to edit them later. And if you export in DNG, you're going to have basically another raw file that you can edit, uh, which will give you a lot more latitude for your editing software. And the DNG format is also compatible with just about every photo editing software out there. And then finally, we have some file information. What uh, folder do we want to put it into? And by default, it puts it into a subfolder called DXO. And then uh, the file renaming, by default, what it does is it it appends the raw processing method to the file name. So as you can see, we're going to have our file name here, and then it's going to say DXOHQ as the suffix so that we know how this was processed. So let me go ahead and process this. Now at this point it's asking me, do I just want to go to my file explorer and look at the images or do I want to view the results directly inside the application or do I want to export it to say Lightroom? In this case, let's just view the results inside the application. Now I actually want to start out by showing you the Deep Prime, which is the highest quality denoising algorithm in Pure Raw. And this image here was taken at the base ISO of 200 for my camera. And if I click this icon here, you can see the optical corrections were definitely applied. So there's the before, that's the after. So there's a slight improvement there. However, when we zoom in, you know, you wouldn't expect to see any noise. However, even in the clouds here, if I look at the before image, you should be able to see some noise there. Here's the after, there's before, and here's after. And then if we just kind of go over to some other areas here, let's do a before and after here. Before, less sharp, and after, sharper, cleaner, more detail, all the good stuff, right? Now let's look at this next image. This image here is actually at ISO 3200. So if I click on the before, you can see the optical corrections were applied. But if we zoom in and look at some details, there's the before. Look at all the noise and grain in that image. And here's the after. Let's look at another part. Let's go down here into the shadow areas where this uh, sewing machine is. Here's the before, here's the after. As you can see, it's made a huge, huge difference. Let's go to this corner and look at this one. Before and after. So it did an excellent job for high ISO files. And finally, let's look at this image. Here's the before, here's the after. And if we punch in to look at some details, here's the before and here's the after. And this image here was taken at ISO 1250. So if we punch in to look at the noise, not as much noise, but look at the after, so much better. 
Let's look down here. This is a little bit more shadowy. There's the before. And there's the after. Amazing. So as you can see, I think you'll agree that DxO Pure Raw with D-Prime does an excellent job at pre-processing your raw images so you have an excellent baseline to start editing. Of course, there's always going to be limitations when you work with any kind of software, but specifically to DxO Pure Raw, you have to work with raw images from your camera. So you're going to have to use the .CR2, CR3s for your Canons or maybe your Fujifilm. And yes, it does support Fujifilm.RAFs. Nikon would be .NEF and Olympus OM systems like .ORF, etc. Another minor limitation is in the exporting. You can only export in JPEG or .DNG, uh, which really isn't a problem because, again, the DNG files work with just about every photo editor out there. Personally, I've been using the DxO technologies for the Optics module and Deep Prime for almost two years now because I actually purchased the full-on DxO suite with Photolab and perspective corrections and film packs because I really love their product. So even after all this time, I can still highly recommend the DxO products. Now, today we're talking specifically about Pure Raw 2, but they have many other products available that you can download and try. So I have my affiliate links down below to the free trials. Check those out and see how they work with your camera and system. But I think you'll come to love them as much as I do. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe. But either way, I'll see you again soon.